The Open Reading Frame Finder utility, located at the URL at the top of the browser, is a program available at the National Center for Biotechnology Information, or NCBI, website that allows us to find potential protein encoding sequences or open reading frames in sequences that we decide to paste into the query box at that website using the FASTA format of choice. Once we've cut and paste that our candidate sequence in, we can select which codon dictionary we want to use to decipher the sequence and find out whether it codes for a protein. Remember, there are at least 20 of these for different organisms and organelles. We'll go ahead and select the default codon uh, usage, which is the best bet for first pass using the ORF finder. And then we'll go ahead and select uh, ORF by click, clicking on the ORF button. And that will st start the algorithm along its way, looking for the longest open reading frame among the six potential open reading frames one would expect. And as we can see from our first result, we do in fact have one out of the six reading frames that contains a very long stretch of uh, coding. And so we can go ahead and select that particular stretch by moving our cursor over it and then clicking. That will identify the sequence as the candidate sequence to the ORF finder utility. Uh, that will highlight the sequence in purple and also show us the sequence, the actual sequence, that potentially codes for a protein in our candidate sequence. And as we scroll down, we can see that sequence. It starts with an ATG, which is a typical start codon, and ends with TGA, a typical stop codon. So that increases our confidence. This is a potential protein uh, code that we've set on. We can hit accept, and that will tell the ORF finder that this is the candidate we want to analyze further. That renders the uh, potential candidate sequence representation as green. We can go ahead again and select that by moving the cursor over and clicking. That results in um, um, the opportunity to go ahead and do further analysis. We'll go ahead and run our sequence against BLAST are using BLAST to run it against all of the non-redundant databases available at the NCBI uh, site. Go ahead and click BLAST. And then uh, BLAST will go ahead and start generating a report for us based on finding similar sequences, similar amino acid sequences out there among the various databases. If we click on View Report, it will throw back a preliminary result which will show us uh, in cartoon form uh, potential um, matches to our sequence based on uh, conserved domains that are located uh, out there in the databases. Particular interest is the red region, which suggests this is a sigma factor of some sort. Sigma factors are DNA binding transcription regulatory factors in prokaryotic uh, cells. So that's an interesting uh, finding in and of itself. Our candidate sequence may encode for a DNA binding regulatory factor in bacteria. BLAST sometimes takes a while over the internet and so if we wait for a couple of cycles BLAST will return a set of results for us. First graphically at the top of the uh, results page or the report page. Each one of the uh, lines in the graphical representation indicates matching sequences. The red color indicates that they're very high matches. As you can see by the legend at the top of the list, the uh, list of fragments. As we scroll over each one of the lines, they represent a fragment that matches a particular protein out there on the databases and it gives us the name and some information about that particular match. If we scroll down further we find that there's an actual list of each one of these potential matching hits to our candidate sequence. 
we'll notice that there is a point score and an e-value returned for each one of these items in the list. The e-value is ultimately the most important uh, value to consider. Those that are zero or closest to zero, less than zero, um, indicate that we have a very high degree of probability that the match is not due to chance, that it's a real match. And so we'll select those values of zero or better and in this case we'll select the very first hit which has a zero value. The blue box next to it is a connection directly to the gene info page in Entree Gene. Click on that and that will take us to a detailed report of the particular gene that matches our sequence the best. And in that case, it's the ANFA gene, which codes for a sigma 54 factor, a, an iron nitrogenase transcription factor, indicates a factor that regulates genes involved in um, nitrogen fixation in bacteria. And this particular thing, a gene indicates that it is probably a DNA binding sigma factor. These are factors that bind to DNA and interact with RNA polymerase to activate the transcription or downregulate the transcription of genes and prokaryotes. As we scroll down further, we'll see that there is a link directly to the RefSeq or standard amino acid sequence file that's used as the baseline sequence information for us to look at. That takes us to the protein report page and as we scroll down to the bottom we will see that there is the actual sequence information which will match our candidate sequence almost exactly